All right, the stage is set for what should be a really good game one as this series gets underway. Introductions wrapping up down on the field at first pitch just minutes away. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Detroit Tigers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set and towing the slab in this one, Jay Mack. So dominant in his last start, double digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches the way he did last time out. All right, ready to get underway. And stepping in for the Mariners, Alberto Marte. Seattle, the right fielder, number 12. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and the series is underway. Hey, come on now, let's go. Next pitch is outside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. And a pitch. Stays alive. Ground ball to the right side, and that's just foul. The pitch. 3 2 now. And a pitch. Foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. And now hey. Johan Rojas. No ball. One strike. One down, now one down. Bowling one now. And a swing and a miss. Slice down the right side. The O2. And there's a ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. No score just getting started top of the first. Swing and a miss. And he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. 
And now for Seattle, John Hudson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Just missed. Is a one one. And now one and two. Hey, come on now. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran second baseman, Rod Black. Second baseman. Whoa. What? The line in the pitch. Here's a high chopper. One up, one down. That is good. The designated hitter. Whoa. Walker. And up next for Seattle, Rob Walker. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. That's through there for a strike. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I and mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Now at the plate, Martin Velasquez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Two down now, two down. Now one and one. Hey, let's go right here. The one one. Chopped out in front of the plate. Not in time to get him, and the tapper turns into an infield single. And stepping in for the Mariners, Maximo Acosta. Acosta. And that's in there for strike one. No score here in the second. And he's down 0-2 oh, okay. as he swings through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. Hey, now we've got two. And the 0-2. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Got him on the off-balance throw. And that is that. Mariners lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Detroit. And now the switch hitting catcher, Tim Hale. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. Matt back to work and there's a strike you come into the game knowing that 
unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The left fielder. Sal. And here's the veteran outfielder, Sal Fraley. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. We've got one here. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Top of the third, no score. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away now. Boom. For me, that knuckleball was just devastating. I mean, you see it so well. You think you're going to go out there and get four knocks, and you just swing and miss. And I tell you what, I tried my best to put Tim Wakefield in the Hall of Fame. So we'll see. If he gets there, you know it's because of me. Now here is Alberto Marte. One strike. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Two outs here. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And one, two, three go the Mariners. And we are still scoreless. Here at the ballpark, start of the fourth, and now for Seattle, Johan Rojas. The center field, number 33, Johan. Foul ball Rojas. there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's one down. Now batting, the first baseman, John. Hudson. John Hudson up next for the Mariners. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The pitch. And a foul ball. Hey, play the first, play the first. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking now very back. much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack yeah. with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Rod Black. Grounded out his first time up. That one's in there, 0 1. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Mariners are down in order. They trail in this one, 3-0. Three Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the Mariners DH. Rob Walker. The, the pitch. Strike one. 
clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. There it's got to go. come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make Aye. that guy on the mound work to get you out. Hey, no one down here. And the right hander deals. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Third baseman, Marte Velasquez. Now the third baseman, Martin Velasquez. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And that's in there for strike one. And we got one down here, one down. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses the first, yep. and the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Now batting the shortstop, Maximo Acosta. Maximo Acosta up next for the Mariners. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an and outcome, it seems two. like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering misses the mark. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the go, middle. Guys. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. On the ground to third. The throw to first, and that is that. Mariners go down quietly there. They still find themselves down. Six zip. And welcome back. Top six. Now the Mariners catcher, Tim Hale. Matt, back to work. Well, every pitcher yeah. wants to run support and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, hey, we go no after hitters here. and get quick outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, come on, guys. Righty to the plate. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it kicks off the bag. The tag, and he's out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work now behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Sal Fraley. Now the left fielder, Sal Fraley. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Alberto Marte. Hey, one down now, one down. All In right. there for strike one. Hey, ready for that ground ball right here? Chop to first, oh, and he well grabs well. it in foul ground. Here's the 0-2. Just and missed. Ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fought off foul. And he deals. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total, and you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. And two here. And that one fouled off. Freilich leads off right first now, with Ellis. two down to the inning. And a pinch. This one popped up. Stevens settles it, under this one, drops into the glove, and that will end the inning. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Tigers seven and the Mariners nothing. Back here in Detroit, new inning getting started and stepping in for the Mariners, John Hudson. The first baseman, John Hudson. The pitch. There's a strike. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Hey, no one down here. Righty delivers. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Guys. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One away. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just yeah. hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Rod Black up next for the Mariners. In there, and it's 0-1. Left-hand batter waits. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Got it. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, but again, a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Two down here. Now the batter now, Rob Walker. That one's in there, 0-1. Go, boys. You won. Ball That's one there. Corner. And the pitch. Strike two. One ball. Two strike. And the righty deals. The other way. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the, the at-bat after the being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Well, just a cookie it. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Martin Velasquez up next for the Mariners. Get ahead of him right here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh 
And a swing and a miss there. And down on strikes he goes. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for Seattle. Still eight nothing. Never did stretch. Back at Comerica Park, we go to the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Maximo Acosta. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And now the count is even. Hey, come on, guys. There's a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Bird. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Tim Hale up next for the Mariners. And that's in there for strike one. And one down now, one down. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Hey, get him yourself right here, kid. And down on strikes. Two out. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. And now, Sal Fraley in there in its own one. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Nobody left for Seattle, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Alberto Marte. The right fielder, the pitch. Marte. That's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. To third. And foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And up next for Seattle, Johan Rojas. Hey, we got one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that's through there for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting, the first baseman, John Hudson. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is John Hudson. Swing and a ball popped up. Stevens it, has a beat it, on it, it. And that'll do it. The Tigers get a shutout on the mound. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap.
Eight nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.